Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, uh, we'll have a look at this uh, Blue Star Air Purifier, which I have been testing for the last couple of uh, weeks and uh, Blue Star had sent this uh, for testing. But before we get into this uh, air purifier, I just wanted to talk about uh, this air pollution problem that we are having in India. And if you've been following the news, you hear reports that the PM levels are dangerously high in uh, many of the uh, cities, for example, Delhi, we see uh, uh, frequent warnings that the air is really polluted. We have uh, PM pollutions that are above 300, 350. So what is this uh, PM 2.5 and how these air purifiers can help that? First, let's talk about what is this uh, PM 2.5 pollution that we have been talking. Uh, this stands for, uh, PM stands for particulate matter. Actually, uh, this 2.5 is the a width of this uh, pollutants that we have in our air. Uh, to give you an idea, our human hair width is approximately between 75 to 100 microns. And this PM 2.5 uh, stands for uh, the pollutants that we have in our air, which are uh, uh, this small. That means we actually cannot see them. And uh, this PM 2.5 levels are always there in the air. And the safe limit actually is around 25 to, I would say 75. These are sort of safe limit. Ideally, it is about 25 to 50. But in our modern cities, for example, Delhi and other cities, uh, frequently we see that this PM 2.5 levels are very high above uh, 250, 350 also we are reaching. Sometimes it has uh, reached levels of about 400. And at those levels, the air that we actually breathe in is very toxic. And as I've mentioned, this PM 2.5 is so small uh, that uh, uh, we simply actually breathe in and uh, th these over time actually accumulate in our lungs and stuff. So in the long term, it is very bad for our health. And particularly if you have small children and elderly people or people who have heart problems or even people who have asthma are severely affected with this one. Uh, we can't solve the air pollution problem. But again, uh, with the help of air purifiers, at least in our houses or in our office, we can bring down the PM levels. Uh, so let me actually show you this uh, Blue Star uh, air purifier and how it works. So here is the Blue Star air purifier. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just switch it on like this. And uh, you see this indicator. This shows the air quality. Initially, it's just starting, so it's evaluating. And uh, it uh, moves between these uh, three colors. Red means that the air is not that clean. Uh, this uh, uh, green means the air, it has cleaned the air. So initially, first when you switch it on, it will toggle like this. And this is the visual indicator. It will stabilize after some time. And when the air is clean, it will glow in green color. As you can see, this is my studio. Uh, so the air is already clean because I was actually using the air purifier. And let me actually uh, show you this panel over here. This uh, actually shows you the PM levels. As of now, it's uh, 36 for the PM 2.5. Uh, if I leave it for about 20-30 uh, uh, minutes, it'll go down to about 10. And already, as you can see, this air is sort of clean as it's uh, glowing in green color. Apart from that, as you can see, we have a lot of modes over here. Uh, so we have the sensor technology on this one. And uh, I ideally use it in the smart mode. Uh, but uh, if you want to, use it only in the dust mode you can use that and if you want to just remove uh, bad order you can switch on to this order mode and you also have uh, a mode for quiet if you just uh, do this it will not make a lot of noise and as you can see now it has become really silent so you can toggle between this quiet mode I generally leave it on the smart mode and we also have a timer so if you just want to switch off the air purifier let's say after eight hours or something you can switch on that and this is the power on off switch and you can also control the speed if you want so you have this uh, speed you can also control the speed using this if you really want uh, but I generally leave it on smart and it takes care of uh, uh, the stuff and it also has a child lock provision and we also has this nano e technology you can switch this on or off this nano e is another interesting feature that consists of nano sites electrostatic atomized water particles that purify the air and clean microorganisms like bacteria and mold that is uh, found in the air that we breathe this also has wheels so you can move this unit and uh, you just open this flap to reveal the filters as you can see this comes out 
and this is the filter this is the true HEPA filter that we have and uh, apart from that we also have uh, this uh, silver nano carbon filter. I checked the manual for the filter life and according to Blue Star, filter life is 1.5 years for 8 hours of operations per day. The true HEPA filter is for 1 year and silver nano filter is for 1.5 years. So you can replace the filters yourself and you are good to go. This air purifier also has an odor filter which actually removes foul smell from the room and it is really effective. As you can see this is my studio and it's always closed and due to that it has a funny stuffy smell when I come in the morning. But with this purifier within 15 minutes that smell is removed from the room. So that was the Blue Star air purifier and guys if you're looking for an air purifier I would suggest that you look at the capacity of the air purifier for example whenever you buy air conditioners we go with a tonnage for example based on your room size that is 1 ton 1.2 or even a 2 ton and similar things should also be applied when you're buying an air purifier for example the air purifier that we saw from Blue Star is rated at a capacity of 650 square feet so again when you're buying an air purifier also look at the dimensions of your room and based on that decide uh, which air purifier you want to go for example blue stars has various types of uh, air purifiers with various capacities as you can see from this web page so again whenever you are planning to buy an air purifier also do make a note of the capacity of the air purifier again guys i hope you found this uh, video helpful if you found it helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video